legendary skier Mike Hattrip is on Moguls right now. Okay, so uh, kind of bring us up to date though. Uh, I know you've really gotten into telemark skiing. Is that part, like half of your ski time now is uh, alpine, half is probably telemarking. Is that about right? Yeah, that's about right. Of my days riding lifts, it's probably split evenly between the two. And I, and I also AT, so probably when you, when you out up all the touring days as well. Probably a third is on Alpine equipment, third is on AT gear, and a third on Tele. You doing a lot of ski mountaineering? Yeah, yeah, a fair amount. M more mostly in the spring. Um, I usually guide three, four trips a year, and most of those are in Europe. Awesome. I've been definitely noticing. I mean, the past you know five to ten years, uh, what the Telemark skiers are doing on the mountain. It just seems like the progression in that sport has gone through the roof in the past decade. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a different world for sure. And I, the two things that really opened it up are, are first, plastic boots. Because plastic boots, when you went from a flimsy leather boot to a plastic one, all of a sudden you got a lot more control and you could drive a much bigger ski. Tele used to be much more closely aligned with cross-country skiing. Yep. And now it's much more aligned with downhill, with alpine skiing. Because it's, I mean, guys are going huge on skis and, and landing switch and doing all the stuff the Alpine guys are doing. You know, still, I, you're never going to match the power and speed of Alpine. That's a different world. You know, when a telemarker can can be within a second or two of the guys running the Haunted Calm, then then I'll, then I'll retract that statement. But yeah. Um, yeah. but uh, at the same time, the the, the surfy surfy feeling of a telemark turn you. You don't capture that with Alpine either, so they, they're both special, and that's that's why I like doing both. I want to see a telemarker on the style hang, no doubt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Twenty years with K2. Twenty years with K2. Yep. It's uh, the longest I held a job before working for K2 was a paper out I had when I was 13. <laughs> so, <laughs> right on. So, what are you doing at K2? Tell us about it. Um, I'm I'm working mainly on the on on our backcountry equipment and. Uh, We've got, uh, and that's telemarked AT to side country. We've got a new collection called Backside that's that's really kind of half side country, half back country. So okay. uh, it covers everything from somebody who wants to ski the oat route that wants a fairly light, narrow ski to the guy who's charging the resort all day and skiing off the backside a little bit as well. So, All right. Uh, let's uh, fill me in right now. We're going to have a special fill me in because of your legendary reputation. So actually fill us in on the Mike Hattrip top three Apre ski spots. Where are we going to have the most fun? Top three Apre ski. Um, well, I guess number one has got to be the Montfort Pub in Verbier. That's maybe the greatest ski bum bar on the planet. Okay. Um, that, that's really What's good. What's the scene like there? I mean, uh, it's a mix of, you know, it's low ceilings. It's, yeah, unfortunately way too smoky. Maybe it's not now, but when I was, the one time I went there, um, I've been there a few times actually. Yeah. Um, yeah okay. the, it, you know, it used to be smoky, but great darts and super international collection of people. It's, you know, you got Swedes and Brits and Aussies and Kiwis and French and, so it's it's a great collection of characters, and uh, I guess apples apples in uh, in Sun Valley is is got to be right up there as well. Um, third one I would say is Snorting Elk, which is uh, the Snorting Elk Pub, which is in Crystal Mountain, where basically where I grew up skiing. Cool. All right. Well, I would be so honored one day if I did the Mike Hat Trip tour with you to the Apre Ski Spots. Uh, congratulations on everything. Thank Thanks you for coming much. on the show. Appreciate the time. Mike Hatrip right there. Make sure you check him out in Blizzard of Oz. It's on the Ski Channel. This has been Moguls. I'm John Whelan from Nelson, B.C.